Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, we were talking and we talk regularly about how Windows has a lot of old code in it and, you know, some dating back to the days of Windows XP and even worse. And of course, uh, one of the questions that came across today was, um, you know, where could I see some of this, you know, old uh, technology still used in Windows 11, for example? Well, you don't have to go very far. The first place you can see that is just bring up the control panel. Control panel hasn't changed much in uh, ages. And this, when you open it, you know, it brings you out of Windows 11 and or even 10. Makes you feel like you're back in Windows 7 and even Windows XP. Uh, this has essentially not changed much in the last 10, 15 years. Um, so this is one example of old legacy code, um, and you even have references like here, back up and restore Windows 7. And we're at Windows 11, imagine. But uh, one place also that you can see some legacy left behind code, when you go down in Edge, Microsoft Edge might be the modern browser now that Microsoft has, but if you go in the three dots on the upper right corner, go down to More Tools, you'll see something called Internet Options. And you click on that, and look at this. This is the good old Internet Options of Internet Explorer that you know dates back to ages, like at least Windows XP, uh, if not more. Uh, so it's, it's all of those funny little things that are still stuck within uh, Windows that for a lot of it cannot be modified or removed because it still has some dependencies with some of the operating system's features. So there are things that if they would remove it, you'd essentially break Windows in some way or break some features that people might want to use. So <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's where you see that there's a lot of things that are being dragged forward and that essentially you know a real good new windows would probably um, if you want to have some uh, really Im improved performance and also maybe even some much more modern um, features you could you know almost say they should rewrite windows from scratch and leave behind all of those legacy stuff but then again, that's what makes a lot of what people use still work after years and years and years because that legacy code keeps some of the software and hardware compatible today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.